<laughs> Look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's more ways to lose money in cryptocurrency than there is to make it, okay? That doesn't mean it's not one of the biggest opportunities ever brought forth in human history. I'm talking about the jump from the regular internet to internet 3.0 is going to be absolutely and a lot of people are gonna get rich, but a lot of you people are just way too greedy. You're getting way too greedy. Why don't you just pick a coin that's gonna absolutely dominate 2020? In this video, I found that. Keep watching. What's going on everybody? Alex back with another cryptocurrency video and guys we're gonna get straight to the money. Look the quickest way from point A to B is a straight line. There's no day trading up here. There's no decentralized apps down here. Let's double your bitcoins and lose all your money from the scam to which they extort you for the rest of your cryptocurrency. No none of that stuff. We're just simply trying to find undervalued altcoins that is going to take more market share just in time for the bull run of 2021 end of 2020 whenever the bull run comes guys we're going to find those altcoins that are going to 100x that's what i look for that's when you see these videos the coins are going to dominate now i'm not trying to get extremely risky and play the lotto here so how did you become the world's wealthiest man tron hot hand in a dice game baby girl Six hours straight talking about clacking it, clacking it, clacking it, clacking it. I'm just simply trying to find the coins that have real utility that's going to gain a lot of value over others, right? That's undervalued right now that can make us some money. But why me? Like, Alex, what credibility do you have? I've showed this in other videos. Maybe some of you have seen the testimonials, but look at this testimonial here. And then I got another one here. Um, actually, my girlfriend made a whole bunch of money here. Started off with $2,000, withdrew the $2,000, and this is pure profit, 22000 and if you don't believe me, look, let me show you a screenshot of them purchasing Ethereum way far back in the day when it was worth nothing. Now, the reason I show that is because there can be a lot of BS in cryptocurrency, a lot of people just talking because they know how to use the YouTube uh, search algorithm to their advantage. That's the reason I show these testimonials because a lot of people, I get it, you know, you might have been bamboozled before, but I just want to just kind of clear the doubt and show you guys I know what I'm talking about. Now, before we get started, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, my name is Alex. I talk about everything cryptocurrency and internet entrepreneurship. If you're looking to make money on the internet, this is a must a must subscribe to channel and i'm not just saying that i try to provide you guys with as much value as i possibly can keep it real down to earth real facts i'm not here trying to showboat or anything like that you might see me you know play around having fun with money and stuff but i try to keep it as realistic as possible back everything up with facts and go extremely deep into these cryptocurrencies we're not just talking about it i'm showing you exactly proven reasons why these cryptocurrencies could potentially make you some money I don't know, but this is not financial advice, okay? Now, by the way, guys, this cryptocurrency, previously I passed it over. I was just like, you know, whatever. You know, they're, they're cool. They're doing, they're doing some things, but, you know, I, it really didn't pique my interest until this new tool that I've been using. It's called Token Metrics, okay? Now, before you guys, like, hang me by a rope or something like that in my comment section, keep in mind, guys, we are in partnership. I am a sponsored partner, you know, with Token Metrics, but I do it for a reason. There's a reason why I got their, you know, product for myself. I originally got their product and then it just happened to be that we did business together because I believe that they have insight and knowledge that you can use, right? There's a lot of platform out there that's just calling signals and they have the predictions of the cryptocurrency where they show you, you know, what they think the price is going to be with a machine learning, which I think is pretty legitimate. But what I really like is the fact that they, they display all the research and I use it as a tool to combine with my fundamental analysis research principles. I use it as a tool to, you know, because there's some things I would never know right? Like for example, code, right? I have a little bit of coding background, but there's just people that are way better than me. Instead of, you know, trying to do everything myself, I'd rather outsource that information and they can tell me if the product is actually good, right? They can tell me things that I would previously not know, like how is the code? Is it clean code? Is it, you know, overcomplicating, right? All these things, how many lines of code, all that stuff that I honestly would have to take years to really understand. I can get it with token metrics. And I'm going to explain to you what I'm talking about in more depth, of course. So let's jump into the video. Now, the first thing I want to show you guys is this chart here. I show it in all of my altcoin videos because I want to be completely honest and transparent. Guys, the majority of my money is in Bitcoin and Ethereum. I will say this every time. Why? Because there's a lot of people out there with 25, 30 cryptos. That's way too much. Okay, if you're actually trying to make money in crypto, I, like I told you guys, I'm going to try to get straight to the money from A to B, straight line. If you're actually trying to make money, the easiest and best way to do it is to not 
over diversify. You want to find those coins in the top 100, 150, maybe 200. You want to find those coins and you could, right? But you don't want to over diversify and it, you're just like playing the lotto, right? I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about, you know, finding those moonshot cryptocurrencies with the extremely small market cap, right? That is like, you might as well go to the casino straight up because you'll make your money quicker. And those investment decisions, not only are they extremely risky and you have less than like a 5% chance to win, but you don't know if you're right till like five years or two years, right? So essentially like you might as well go to the casino and just kind of, you know, test your odds there. I, I don't know. What I try to do with cryptocurrencies and altcoins is I try to find ones that are not extremely risky. So like you guys got to understand that cryptocurrency in general is already risky, right? There's already ridiculous upside opportunity. Less than 3% of the world is in cryptocurrency. So the opportunity is already there. It's greed I see. Basically, the overall gist is they're telling you what you want to hear, right? Which, yeah, you could make money in altcoins with, you know, 100 bucks, right? That's not, that's not a problem. But turning 100 into a couple of grand, that's phenomenal. Nobody else can do that. But when they're saying you could turn 100 into like a million dollars or something like that by finding moosh, uh, undervalued moonshot cryptocurrency, would it like a, I, I think it's just absolutely ridiculous. I think what you guys should be doing is finding cryptocurrencies that are relatively, right? So on the, on the risk spectrum here, you don't want to go all the way to the bottom. You want to stay maybe a little bit above the middle because cryptocurrency as a market and a whole is already risky. You're taking on way too much risk. What you're doing is you're putting your money in a toilet and you don't know if it's gonna flush till two years, right? So I'm just trying to help you guys out. What are you gonna do with all this money? Uh, uh, I'm gonna reinvest my money into the community. Oh, that's a very nice gesture. What were you saying? <laughs> like you guys saw before, I've previously done this. It wasn't me trying to find Moonshot. Actually, I've tried and wasted thousands of dollars trying to find these Moonshot cryptocurrencies. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying that like most people just don't have that money. And if you're playing with a couple thousand dollars, like that's not the way to go. You wanna get the ones in the top hundred, which we're gonna talk about in this, crypt in this video. You wanna get those you know, cryptocurrencies in the top hundred to g not guarantee, but increase those odds just a little bit and then you want to have majority bitcoin and ethereum so now that you guys understand the risks involved you understand the market and the climate let's talk about the cryptocurrency now what is the cryptocurrency we're talking about here it's going to be number 24 on coin market cap cosmos the token is called atom now let me explain something when i do my research there's like 30 40 principles that i, I dive in extreme depth but this is not the video for that it'd be four hours long so in these types of videos what i try to do is i try to stick to the main ones right so the main ones i usually look at is the product the team and the marketing. With those three right there, I, I feel I can give you guys a very effective video, show you in depth how this cryptocurrency potentially could play out. And guys, you can make a ridiculous sum of money investing in these types of coins. Don't get greedy. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So let's jump to the first thing. Let's explain what Cosmos is. Okay, let me just read the introduction and I'll explain it in my own words to make it easier for you guys. The combined success of an open source ecosystem Decentralized file sharing and public cryptocurrencies has inspired an understanding that decentralized internet protocols can be used to radically improve the economic infrastructure. We have seen specialized blockchain applications like Bitcoin, zero cash, cryptocurrency for privacy, or a decentralized smart contract platform such as Ethereum with countless distributed applications for the Ethereum virtual machine. You know, basically what they're saying is that, you know, cryptocurrency is booming and there's a lot of different applications of what's going on to date. However, these blockchains have suffered from a number of drawbacks, including their gross energy inefficiency or poor or limited performance, immature governance mechanisms, uh, proposals to scale Bitcoin's transactions throughout. What they're saying, essentially what Cosmos is doing, because I'm not trying to read this whole thing here, is they're connecting all the blockchains, right? So the interoperability, right? So what do I mean by that? So this is just the best way. This is the front of their website and everything like that, very clean. They're helping proof of work protocols with scalability. They use Tendermint, okay? Which is basically something that they've developed. Now, the, the whole purpose of these videos, guys, is we're trying to make money. I'm not gonna explain technicals, but I'm gonna try to explain it the best way I possibly can. You guys know how my videos work. So the second one, usability. Blockchain applications are, too, are complex and difficult to understand for developers. So they have their own SDK that helps them it's very easy. I actually looked into it for myself and it's pretty interesting. Um, and then interoperability. Blockchain economies, they're basically by themselves, right? They can't transfer amongst, like if you were trying to get uh, Bitcoin to Ethereum, you'd have to use, I mean, there is some cases where you can use like a decentralized exchange and stuff like that, but they don't communicate with each other, essentially what they're trying to say. They have to use like a exchange or something like that, that you can't send specific uh, information about each cryptos uh, amongst each other. So they try to solve that with their IBC protocols. Okay. So essentially this, this coin, if you were looking at it from a marketing perspective, 
they're going to be marketing to other blockchains. That's where they're going to win right now. Obviously, there's a lot of people in blockchain that would want to buy the tokens to stake on it with the governance protocol and everything like that, because they give you governance um, and they have their own governance. So we can you can kind of like vote on different things on this blockchain specifically. Um, but I would say that their biggest market is going to be to other blockchains, which I think is very good because if, if they if they get some good team members, which which I'm going to talk about in this video, if they get some good team members and they do well, then Cosmos is going to do well, right? So if I come over here, now the roadmap, uh, I looked into it for myself. You guys are going to have to take my word for it, or you can go look at it for yourself if you want to, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I just went over what they did in, in you know previously. They didn't overestimate you know anything. They weren't like over-promising and under-delivering. They were pretty on point with what they said they wanted to do sp specifically. I would say that one, their roadmap, if you guys don't know what roadmap is, basically like they tell you what they're going to do and basically goals set for themselves. They're pretty on point with the roadmap. It's very detailed. They're very on point. They actually did what they were going to say. Um, and, you know, I feel like this is like a very, very good example of a high quality roadmap. You guys can look at that for yourself. It's on the website. Now, like I told you guys, token metrics. Now, I use this primarily for my researching this time because I kind of took their word for I, I passed over Cosmos a couple of times because I thought there were just better options. But... After listening to what they said, guys, like I completely understand why this would be. They're the number. They're the number one when it comes to interoperability in cryptocurrency. When it comes to their specific niche, they're definitely number one. Okay, so a couple of things that I would never ever been able to figure out. Like for example, the technology summary. They're saying that right here, the team put a solid development effort using the latest technology and most used GoLang as a programming language for microservice architecture. Now you gotta understand that there's other people using different languages. Okay, now where that's bad is. You know, there's obviously a community of, you know, developers of cryptocurrency. And if this is the mostly used language, it's the, it's the best one. There's, I've seen other blockchains using different types of languages, which is kind of weird to me. So I thought that was interesting, something I would have never known. Cosmos Hub is a blockchain, and its main function is to act as a router for zones. It supports routing of messages between zones and interoperability. This means uh, Cosmos ecosystem allows to transfer tokens between different blockchains using Cosmos Hub. Okay, we have a lot of different cryptocurrencies trying to solve the specific problem, but I believe according to token metrics, they're the number one in their niche, which I, there's no way for me to tell that when it comes to a, pro a project, right, or a product. There's no way for me to tell that when it comes to a product because I can't understand, you know, specifically like code quality, right? Is it open source? Yes. Does it, you know, use a good product code like C++, Rust? Look, it uses the ER lang. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Can it use better programming languages? No, it literally cannot. It has the best programming language. Number of GitHub lines, right? 10K. How many commits per month? More than 10. Good quality code. I, I would never know how to distinguish the quality of code. How well is the code committed? Good. Basically, what they're saying is the quality of this is, is high quality code, which I would never be able to figure out. They have senior developers, okay? And their, their coding style, I guess, is solid, right? And number of active developers. Now, it, when taking all this information in, you got to kind of check and see who's giving you this information, which I did, okay? So if I come over here, I can show you that uh, Parish... Okay, if that's how you pronounce his name, he was a former IT executive director at Goldman Sachs. Now, I'm not sitting here saying he's the one doing this. I don't know for sure who's doing the research specifically, but all I know is that they're just way smarter than me. That's a fact. Whoever's doing this research knows more than I do, uh, 100%. He led the development of JP Morgan and Chase and Barclays mobile payment platforms and is now helping build token metrics. Whether he's building it or not, I know somebody smarter than I is looking at this code in more detail than I ever could. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So from a technology standpoint, they're trying to connect blockchains, which is well needed in cryptocurrency because everybody's kind of doing their own thing. And if we all want to flourish as an ecosystem as a whole, you know, this is something like information needs to be passed from blockchain to blockchain. I know that for a fact, right? It's going to help the ecosystem and it's a technology we need. We know, I know this because liquidity protocols like, you know, Kyber Network or 0x and stuff like that, they're widely used and that's providing liquidity. Now, this is a little bit different because it's geared towards uh, developers. That's why as we come to the website here, you can see that they're, it's for, you know, developers. They provide scalability, usability, interoperability, right? So essentially what they're doing is they're helping all the blockchains, which I think is very well needed um, and cryptocurrency. So when it comes to their product, not only are they number one in crypto, but according to token metrics, their code is extremely solid. They're doing everything right when it comes to the product. So I'd say, you know, at a product, it's like a nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. Okay. There's a reason why I pick Cosmos. Now, again, I'm going to show you guys towards the end of this video with a price prediction that you could still make a ridiculous amount of money. You don't need to go 
you know, gamble on these low market cap points. You can stick to like, you know, the top 100, top 200 at most, right? And still make a ridiculous amount of money. Okay, so now that you understand the product, you understand what the project is pretty much doing, let's jump over to the team. Now in token metrics, before I used to have to like hound these people down, it's actually very simple with token metrics. You could just click fundamentals, which is essentially what I'm doing here. And they have the whole team here and they actually even have like a brief description. You know, Dovey was from eBay. As you can see here, Dovey, Ridiculous, uh, you know, she's a founding partner in Primitive Ventures, you know, ridiculous background, executive director. She has Coindesk experience. She has all types of crypto experience. So if we click Alexander here, let me just show you some more uh, of the team. I already know that they have a rock star team, but let me just show you software engineer at Tendermint. Okay, that's the, the protocol we, we, we were talking about earlier. Um, we can see that he was a founder of Fission Lab, self employed. A uh, senior engineer, blockchain infrastructure. So he has coding experience, about a year's worth of coding experience. Senior software engineer. He's a senior engineer, guys. Lead design architecture. So clearly he has uh, a lot of industry experience. Uh, Peter here is from Adobe. I'm not going to jump into it specifically. This person's from Yelp. Come on, like the big time Microsoft, Intel. Clearly all star team. You can look into it for yourself. Uh, token metrics just made it really easier for me. To, to dive deep into this. The one thing I did find out that was difficult for me to look before is the scarcity. Now you can see here, what they're saying is that it's inflationary. If you guys know what inflationary is, it's basically they can kind of control the supply. But that would, I, I imagine that would be uh, controlled by the governance. So if you actually have a stake, you can say if you want it inflationary or not, not 100% sure on that, but the, they don't have a token burn. So there's just a lot of stuff. Like if they did have a token burn, I'm sure the fundamental score would have been higher. Right. So as you can see here, when it comes to fundamentals, they rated at 100 um, and you can see that the team is, is one of the best right there. Um, reputation. We're looking at a 9.84 out of 12 marketing, 12 out of 12, which we'll talk about more marketing and stuff like that. Liquidity. They're on major exchanges. That's a big thing. I actually learned about uh, because of token metrics. So let's look at the fundamentals. So Cosmos built um, by the team. Tendermint protocol team is the first public interoperability blockchain cosmos the ecosystem of blockchains that interoperate with each other before cosmos uh, blockchains were kind of like independent unable to communicate with each other as blockchains can transact with each other this allows developers to break barriers the end goal is to build an internet of blockchains that's a that's a term that they coined a network of blockchains able to communicate with each other in a decentralized manner several projects are already utilizing cosmos as a testimony cosmos inclusive design binance chain is probably the most significant project leveraging cosmos blockchain which they kind of spilled the beans i was going to talk about how um, binance coin is using cosmos which is absolutely ridiculous other projects including loom kava playlist and so on you know there's just a lot of people using them already to communicate with each other so that's really good signs right so you know we talked about the product we talked about the team uh, they get, the team's probably their strongest point, uh, including their product. I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. When it comes to product, marketing, and team, they're, they're pretty much there. They pretty much got everything. Uh, I can't really, you know, break it down. They have the liquidity, as you can see, they're on the biggest exchanges, Bittrex, Poloniex, Binance, with a lot of um, volume already. You know, how many years is a company in business before launching a cryptocurrency? Three plus. So they, they're basically saying that they have, you know, a lot of experience, market standing. Do they have customers and users? Yes. Are they leading the pack in terms of competition with other competition? They're number one, like I told you before. Does the token, you know, fulfill the utility? Yes, they're, they're doing things right now. People are actually using them. Basically, they're asking here, does the token have, they're solving a problem. Yes, they're solving a problem. Okay, now let's, let's jump into marketing. Um, you guys understand the product. You understand what its use case is. You understand that the team can probably take them there and they've already taken it there. They're already doing things. Let's talk about the marketing. Over 20K visits. Do they have a large community? Yes, we're gonna talk about the community. So let's come over here. Let's do some of uh, some fundamental analysis. You can see that most of the referrals come from CoinMarketCap being that they're number 24 on CoinMarketCap. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, they're getting more than 50K on average, 50,000, 50, 40,000 views. Um, there's a lot of different websites you can use like alexa.com as well as similar web and I saw that they kind of all rang the same bell. They're getting anywhere from 30k to like 50, 60k per month, which is extremely strong considering that they're they're technically, you know, marketing to an, uh, other blockchains. That's that's their biggest point. Now, of course, they're simultaneously marketing to people like me and you and investors, but um, they just need to get adoption from blockchains, which uh, and provide a good product, which is a big thing. Now, as you can see their Twitter, they have 32.6K followers. Uh, Telegram group is 11,633 followers. Um, their Reddit, they have about, what, 8.4K members, and they have a legitimate YouTube channel that explains everything from their own original videos, which is a big one for me. 
Um, being, it doesn't even need to have a lot of subscribers. They just have a lot of essentially uh, information to learn about it for developers as well as uh, investors. So I think this is like their biggest strong point. I don't care about the subscribers. I just care about if they have information for people to look through. Now let's let's talk about doing some price prediction. So number 24 in coin market cap, we're gonna do like a relatively close kind of price prediction if we receive you know about one trillion dollars in cryptocurrency as a whole, which we did hit that point. You know, in 2017, there was about $1 trillion in cryptocurrency. So we're going to see that. And then we're going to look at specifically some kind of long term, you know, price predictions to see if we get the $10 trillion valuation, which I talk about in my other coin videos. Go look at my other coin videos. But essentially, just this, I know a lot of people are like, they were like, wow, you really think $10 trillion? But it's like pretty straightforward and pretty common belief that cryptocurrency can receive $10 trillion, right? Like, for example, you know, gold's market cap is $9 trillion. Um, there's just much more usefulness in cryptocurrency by far. If you look at logarithmic regression of the market cap of all cryptocurrencies, you can clearly see that tr 10 trillion is not only in the books, but it's it's pretty relatively um, conservative to say that we're going to see 10 trillion dollars in about three to five years um, in cryptocurrency as a whole. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm basically saying that, you know, right now, as you can see, $221 billion in cryptocurrency. I'm saying this can turn into 10 trillion, which again, like I said, we saw 1 trillion. So what if we see uh, approximately 1 trillion? What I did is I looked at a historical snapshot of the number 24th position. So this right here, uh, uh, under icon, this was number 24. You can see that there was $1.7 billion. You guys know how it works. If you take the market cap of a coin, if you want to predict, you want to predict how much market cap, you want to predict the circulating supply. We take that, and this is a, a near term. If we see, you know, Bitcoin hit 20K again, which is potentially could happen in the next six months, I, I would say, um, maybe. But if we click here and we put $1.7 billion divided by the circulating supply of Cosmos, which let me just copy this to make it easier myself, we can see that this $2.74 per coin can potentially go to $9. So it could buy like what, three to four X? Three to four X um, your money and the next six months to a year, potentially. Now, a lot of people, oh, there's nothing. I wanna see 100X. You're getting greedy, man, you're getting greedy. This coin is pretty straightforward, it's already established. If you put your money in here, I think a better strategy, instead of trying to just moonshot and lose all your money, a better strategy would be to go get a job, develop some type of income to be able to dollar cost average into the cryptocurrencies that are gonna pretty much not guarantee, but if they don't if they don't boom, if they don't you know, 100X, what's gonna happen is they're gonna follow the market. So essentially, I'm not saying there's nothing guaranteed in life, of course. But what I'm saying is that you're going to be able to sleep better at night. You're not going to pull your cryptocurrency and you're going to be able to make more money on the back end doing like a business or, you know, getting a second job or just getting a raise at your job or something like that, being able to put in cryptocurrency. And I'm just trying to set you guys up for real. OK, that's just the truth. Now, let's just do a long term prediction. Like I said, $10 trillion valuation. That would essentially mean that this is kind of 10x here. So $90 per coin. So if we multiply that by 10. We have potentially, let's just say, 80 to $90 per coin. So if you were to put in, let's say, hypothetically, $5,000 into this coin right now, which if you don't have $5,000, you shouldn't be worrying about moonshot. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of you guys are, have 500 bucks in crypto and you got like these moonshot coins that some YouTuber talked about. I'm just trying to really help you. Like, There's a difference between just kind of uh, entertaining you and making you feel like you're doing something and actually helping you. I'm really just actually trying to help you. So let's just divide this by $2.74. Okay, so that means you're gonna get about 1,800 coins, multiply that by 80 bucks. Okay, potentially turn your you know, $5,000 to $145,000 in three to five years time, I think is extremely lucrative. It's extremely, but you guys, most people, they wanna go even deeper than that. This is number 24 on coin market cap. It's gonna follow the market. If it doesn't do extremely well, it's gonna just, you're not gonna lose your money as much, right? The whole point is for you guys to like not get into cryptocurrency and then get turned off because of like one of these moonshot cryptocurrencies or whatever, or these scams or something like that. There's people that I've literally thought in my group chat that I had respect for and I thought they understood the market that are getting scammed, guys. There's people that are smart that are getting scammed, okay? Don't get scammed. I'm trying to, there's just too much opportunity out there. Less is more. You, the, all the opportunity, shiny object syndrome of you guys looking at this and then going to this and uh, moving that, you're going to lose money on fees. You're going to lose money uh, because you're missing the big opportunities like top 50 altcoins. A lot of people just straight up don't understand. And I'm just trying to, that's, that's what you guys get in this channel here. I'm trying to give you the most straightforward evidence, um, facts and knowledge about this cryptocurrency space so that you don't miss out on the massive opportunity from this like shiny object syndrome, right? So now, I want to show you guys really quickly. I told you I was a partner with Token Metrics. I want to show you just some things just in case you don't know what it is. They do have a free two-week trial. So 
if you are just getting into crypto or you're looking to get some new cryptocurrencies, what I highly suggest is you guys go to the link in the description below. Like I told you before, I'm a sponsor. This is how I support my family. Use my link um, to sign up for token metrics. Use the 14-day trial and test it out for yourself. They're so confident that this works, which I believe it does because of machine learning uh, techniques that... If you guys don't know what machine learning is, essentially algorithms, all these algorithms, and they learn from what they lose. So like they have predictions. And if they do bad, in the, which this one for Cosmos, they've been pretty on point. As you can see here, they've been, their accuracy was 94.54%. Uh, so essentially, you know, if you were up here and you took their advice, you would have saved money on this fall. If you would have sold here and then bought back in here, you would have made a whole bunch of money. So, you know, being that they're pretty accurate, um, they actually get better over time. That's what machine learning does. So over time, they, if they mess something up, they fix it, right? That's the point. And that's what I really, really like about this is because there's no way, like they do it automatically, right? A lot of other uh, places, they'll, they'll say something like a 30-day price prediction, but they don't give anything to follow up. They just give you like the prices. This has everything. They have the technical analysis. If you guys are into technical analysis, right now it's bearish, right? There's a lot of reasons why, and they kind of balance that out with the fundamentals and the technology and everything like that. You could look into exactly why it's bearish, right? The awesome oscillator, the co commodity channel index. You can look this up for yourself too. Essentially what I'm saying is these guys are the professionals. And you could piggyback your information off of theirs. Guys, if you have a couple thousand cryptocurrency, I know some people that have like $50,000 of cryptocurrency are just going off of like gut feeling. No, there's no, there's no need to do that. There's a lot of options, you know, that are relatively uh, cheap and in some cases free. As you can see here, they're so confident of their product. They give you a 14-day free trial. So you can literally go find these cryptocurrencies, make money. And when they, when they see you make money, then, then you, you'll probably pay for it because you know it's legit. That's the whole point of a free trial is that they're trying to like prove it to you that it's good, right? So as you can see here, they give you everything. They give you the summary. So if you, do, you don't even have to go to the website if you don't want to. They give you the product description, the fundamental summary, the technology summary. Now, again, like I say, you always want to piggyback this with your own research principles. You want to have a way to take down notes and look into it in depth for yourself to find things they might have missed. But again, like I said, there's a lot of things, guys, like fundamentals, the technology. This is what I use it the most for, the technology section, considering I don't know too much about like coding and stuff. That, that's like where I really get the majority of this, as well as the price predictions. You know, if I actually make moves off of these price predictions, they have it for all different types of cryptocurrencies. Let me go to summary real quick. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to ratings here, they literally rate all of them. You can see you have the top shots here and these move rankings. That's why you need to like look at it for yourself. Um, and you know, they give you reasons why. That's why I love it the most. They give you literally reasons why. And they take everything in consideration. They take fundamental analysis, technical analysis, you know, data science. And the thing about this stuff is that the more data they get, over time, the, the more mature this platform gets, the better it gets. They also have a private group with some big names in cryptocurrency you guys have heard about that are in that private group that you guys can get access to. They, they put out you know weekly webinars uh, that you can ask them questions, Q and A's. I think it's pretty legit. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a partner. I'm saying that because you know I was a user before I was a partner. I actually used their product and I liked it. And then I, I decided, you know what, this is legitimate. Um, let me join the referral program. Like I said, told you guys, before. use the link in the description below. If you want to learn more about token metrics, I'll leave a second link. So the first link is access to the 14 day free trial. Go ahead and use that. And then the second link is going to be access to their very own webinar where they explain it way better than me. Okay. So they could, they would just show you the whole team. They show you exactly what they're doing. And if, if you want to be convinced a little bit more, understand how the, you know, the platform is used, go ahead and use that for yourself. But as you guys see here, a lot of my research was conducted for this cryptocurrency. I am currently holding a good amount of Cosmos comparison to my portfolio. Um, and I think they're going to do very well considering here they're going to do better than a lot of cryptocurrencies that you guys know that you guys are invested in. You know, I, I, I think so as well after doing my research. But that's it for this video, guys. If you like the quality of content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with this technology, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one.